Hi, this is Thunder Yi from BorderWork.com and welcome to our lightning review of the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. The Skyrocket is the first 4G LTE Samsung Galaxy S2 device on the AT&T network that is, yes, of course, 4G LTE. Now, first of all, you know, you've probably seen the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 on AT&T and this is styled a little different. It actually matches the Epic 4G Touch in styling as well as screen size, uh, as well as the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile. And I'm gonna show you those two devices here quickly. You can see the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile here in the Epic 4G Touch on the right. And you can see size-wise, they are similar. You can see 4.5 inch. Uh, five inches and you know it's pretty much it so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the hardware again so it's got a 4.5 inch um, Super AMOLED uh, plus display 2 megapixel front facing camera you got touch sensitive buttons at the bottom for home menu back search you do have your power button here on the right on the left hand side your volume toggles that kind of have this metal indentation you've got that 8 megapixel uh, camera with LED lens I'm oh, sorry with, with uh, LED uh, flash uh, and uh, it's got this nice smooth finish. Overall, the phone feels very smooth. It almost feels like you can glide around on the phone. And that's pretty much the hardware here. So, okay, let's take a look at what we have inside. Okay, so you've got your standard lock screen. Uh, this is running Android 2.3, uh, 2.3.6 or 5, 5 or 6, I'm not exactly sure. I'll check it in a second. And touch with 4.0, of course, which gives you the ability. One of the features is the quick scroll. You know, you can also. Uh, resize your widgets. I just have to do that properly and not move. But yeah, you can resize your widgets. You can see there. Um, <clears throat> you also have that quick scroll feature within your um, app tray. Now, uh, this, look at what we have here. Settings wise, um, do -do 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 -do. about phone Android 2.3.6. So you'd have that, which of course, uh, you know, brings you. Know, a lot of battery uh, management features to it. Now, this is a 4G LTE device. It's the first thing about this Skyrocket that you, you notice. So let's do a quick 4G uh, speed test here. Servers, here yeah, we've got that one. Oh, well, they're pretty much the same location. Again, speed test. Now I've got varying speeds, but I mean, you know, L 4G LTE speeds in general. Let's see. So I'm getting about 26 now, 28. Nine. Do one more test. Eight. So you can see it does about 29 megabits, megabits per second downloads, 11 uh, uploads to show you some other res test results here. Uh, 29 actually was my highest. You can see 22, 21, 23. But uh, consistently, uh, consistently, um, 11 megabits per second for uploads uh, for the Skyrocket. So you, you know, it allows you to download your applications faster, browse the web faster, all that fun stuff. Especially you, just your data packages, you know, move much faster on the Skyrocket, and it was pretty nice. Now you have the same trimmings you have with all the Galaxy S2 devices. You've got you know the new camera app. You've also got a better camera. You can see the camera here. In view, you know, the, the settings pretty nice settings overall. It records at 1080p. Uh, you can check out our 1080p um, uh, recording right there on the top left hand side um, of, uh, of this video. Um, and overall, it's it's a very very smooth device. I actually feel it feels much smoother than I than the other ones, than the other Galaxy S2 devices to me. I don't know if it's just the the smooth finishing on the device, but I actually feel the whole device feels very smooth. Uh, battery life on here is actually similar to what you have with the uh, uh, Epic 4G Touch, uh, rather than the. Um, the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile, even though this is this supposed to be 1.5 uh, dual uh, dual core processor or Qualcomm chip, actually does a pretty good job in battery life. I'm getting between about 10 to 12 hours. I mean, don't take maybe 12, 13 hours or so. Of course, that's all dependent on use on with the device overall. Uh, you do have some pre-installed apps like the um, my AT and T, all the AT and T stuff. Uh, you do have um, Visual Voice also on the system, Quick Office, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, let's just cross check to see if we can also, um, you know, uninstall some of this pre-installed apps. So we go into Task Manager here. Uh, we can see what we have here. We have RAM downloaded. 
So we have the at t applications, we can uninstall those, you can see this. So you can uninstall all the pre-installed apps that came in the system, which is pretty cool. And it's, it's very nice overall. Of course, you have that task manager to kill apps and things like that. Um, overall, I, I like the... Um, I like the uh, Skyrocket, you know, I mean, it brought it brings everything you have in the Galaxy S2, plus the fact you have 4G LTE combined. I think this is probably the, one of, the, I think, the best device on the uh, AT&T network. So, you know, that's pretty much it with the Skyrocket. If you guys have any questions or any comments about the device, uh, I mean, let us know. Don't forget to also to subscribe to our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with two O's. So, um, this is Dundee from Border Work saying, you know, happy holidays, and, um, Always enjoy entertainment.